This is the Star Wars The Black Series Dengar. The figure is number 74. Here we go with the bio. Very nice. He's looking fantastic. I wasn't sure I was going to pick this guy up. He was my very first figure. Believe it or not, when Kenner came out with their Star Wars 3.75 inch figures, he was my very, very first Star Wars figure. My mom bought it for me and when I was a kid and I had no idea who he was. I absolutely hated the figure because he had no lightsaber. He had nothing. Here is Dengar out of packaging and boy, did I really hate this character. I mean, back in the day when I first got him, I was like, dude, I mean, he's got all bandaged up. He's like a mummy. He's got this makeshift stormtrooper outfit that's brown. He's got a Ghostbuster backpack, stupid rifle, and he's wearing loafers. Having said all of that, this figure is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, pff, wow. Wow. Just the amount of detail Hasbro has put in this figure is amazing. I mean, they've captured this bounty hunter from Empire Strikes Back down to the smallest detail. And they did an absolute wonderful job with this figure. Even the nuances of this shoulder pad being a little bit too low uh, to the loafers that he, that he was wearing in the movie. Uh, just the uh, some weathering well, it's not that impressive but some weathering on his sort of stormtrooper armor wow absolutely love it and i think one again another main main selling point for this figure is this fantastic head sculpt and as you can see they've they've even put his uh scars uh those eyes cold-blooded eyes the expression on his face, absolutely amazing. I don't think you can remove the bandages or the turban, whatever. Uh, you could if you wanted to, but uh, I don't think you'll see much underneath. It's probably just plain plastic. But as it is, it looks great. Now he comes with a Stormtrooper rifle that's been remolded in a sort of beige gray plastic. He comes with a... Han Solo look like a blaster pistol. Oh, his hand looks small on his hands, in his hands, but uh, I guess that's what they he had in the movie. He comes with this Ghostbuster back, <laughs> Ghostbusters backpack. I call it because it kind of looks like that. Um, tremendous amount of detail on it. Straps. It's got the canvas harness. Uh, it's obviously made of soft PVC plastic, but it, it has that feel. Look at that. Just amazing. Amazing. Uh, and there's only one way to put it on his back. Uh, it's a uh, regularly shaped peg. You put it that way. Okay, he's got a holster that angles from his belt. Other than that, just a stellar, stellar figure. I just absolutely love it. Hasbro is crushing it with these new Black Series figures. Look at that. Maybe some more weathering on the armor, but that's fine. It, it just really looks amazing. Despite me hating this character altogether. Okay, so let's talk about articulation. He's got a ball jointed neck. Uh, it's the double ball jointed neck, the one underneath and the one on top which allows you to move the head in various ways. Ball jointed upper torso. He's got this new um, sort of ball hinge elbows that go way uh, inside the chest and spreads out like that. This is also what we've seen in the, by, in the police stormtrooper for the solo Black Series figure. Um, yeah, so it's really nice. It allows for better range of motion for the shoulders. Ball, ball hinge elbows, but it, it, it does, the way they've sculpted the elbow is it allows you to bend that elbow more than 90 degrees, maybe 100, 110 degrees. That's pretty cool. Ball hinge wrists. This one goes up and down. This one goes in and out. It's got ball jointed hips. It's got a thigh swivel. Double jointed knees, ball hinge ankles with the rocker pivot. And here is Dengar with a couple of his bounty hunter buddies. 
<laughs> that Darth Vader had assembled to hunt down the Millennium Falcon, Boba Fett, and Zuckus. So that's a scale. Pretty good. Pretty good scale, actually. So the figure is going to get, despite me being hating on the character, it's going to get a 10 out of 10. I am just blown away at how much detail, how, how impressive the effort to make this figure uh, looks so much like the character in the movie uh, but by Hasbro. I mean, I absolutely love what they've done with it. The figure is going to get a 10 out of 10 for me. Just an amazing figure if you're trying to hunt down all the bounty hunters from Empire Strikes Back to form the, the crew, this uh, the crew of bounty hunters on Vader's ship. Uh, you definitely have to pick up this figure. He comes one per case. So best of luck to everybody hunting him down. So there you go, folks. Hope you've enjoyed this little video review. This has been the Star Wars The Black Series Dengar. Thanks for watching.